Hello, my name is Chris, and in life chat I work as a technical hero. Today we're going to talk about Salesforce permission set, basically what it is, how to set it up, and why it may not always work with your custom object configuration. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so what is a Salesforce permission set? Well, simply speaking, it is a set of permissions allowing you to determine what objects and what fields within those objects can be seen, modified, or removed by people using your Salesforce account. Setting up Salesforce permission set is one of the best ways to determine which objects and fields can be viewed, modified, or removed by your agents. It's both quick and convenient, as it allows you to change the granted access for multiple users at the same time, instead of changing them individually. To create your permission set dedicated to live chat, click on Setup, available at the top right corner of your Salesforce administration panel. On the left, you will find several setup categories. Go to Administer, pick up Manage Users, and select Permission Sets. To proceed, click on New button, available in the Permission Sets section. Now, type Live Chat Permission Set in the Label field. Salesforce will automatically fulfill the API name, so you can either describe a new set or proceed by clicking on Save. To ensure that Live Chat will work properly, you will need to edit the following objects Accounts, Cases, Leads, and Contacts. To change the permissions for Accounts object, click on Edit button and enable the following options Read, Create, and Edit. To finalize, click on Save and apply the same procedure for the rest of required objects. Those objects are, as mentioned before, Cases, Leads, and Contacts. Now we will show you how to add your live chat agents to the permission set created in Salesforce. To add live chat agents to your permission set, once again go to Setup, Administer, Manage Users, Permission Sets category. To proceed, click on Manage Assignments. There, click on Add Assignments and choose which of your Salesforce users should have access to live chat integration. Now we will show you how to check if both the permission set and user assignment were configured properly. Go to your live chat account and refresh your browser. Then, pick the archive conversation that you are not able to add to your Salesforce and click on Add New Lead or Add New Contact. If everything went fine, your new lead or contact will be properly added to Salesforce. Thanks for watching, and if you feel like you have any additional questions, feel free to start a chat with us.